Number 10. Mangalitsa Pig On the surface, it may not seem unusual that there is a rare kind of pig out there in the world. After all, pigs are a vital part of all sorts of farms and cultures. However, the Mangalitsa pig, you'll notice very quickly just how unusual it is. This is now the only pig species in the world today that has a coat of fur. It honestly looks more like a sheep than a pig. They have curly hair similar to a poodle. This wasn't a natural thing that the pig developed over time through evolution. It was developed in the late 19th century in Hungary when the Hungarian pig was crossed with wild boar to create a fat pig that didn't require a lot of special hands-on care. The woolly porker quickly became one of the most popular pig breeds in Europe. Their popularity declined when they fell out of favor and when other fat sources became more available, so they became more of a hobby breed. Thanks to their furry coats, the Mangalitsa pigs can live outdoors all year long, surviving off a diet that primarily consists of potatoes and pumpkins that are provided by their thoughtful farmers. Number 9. Raspberry Crazy Ant The Crazy Ant goes by many names. The Raspberry Crazy Ant, the Hairy Crazy Ant, and even the Tawny Crazy Ant. But at the end of the day, a Crazy Ant is a Crazy Ant. While you might take most everyday ants for granted, Thinking they're all the same, they most certainly are not. The crazy ant is by far the craziest of all ants. It earned its name because of the frantic and erratic way in which it moves. But what's really strange is that the crazy ants are drawn to electrical equipment. There have been estimates that each year, over $146 million in electrical damage is caused by these crazy ants. Who knew little ants could do so much damage? But it gets even weirder. When a crazy ant is electrocuted, it releases a scent pheromone that encourages other ants in the area to find whatever killed it and take retribution. The issue is that the pheromones cause more ants to be killed by the electricity, releasing more pheromones, killing more ants, attracting more ants, and eventually just spiraling out of control. When enough ants pile up, they can cause an electrical shortage. Number eight, hummingbird hawk moth. Hearing the name hummingbird hawk moth is likely going to confuse you because it would appear as though someone just lumped three animal names together and dubbed it a new species. But in fact, the hummingbird hawk moth is indeed a special breed of moth and one that has tendencies that relate to other animals that are now part of its name. For example, when it comes to the hummingbird part of its name, that comes from the fact that it flaps its wings at a rapid pace in order to keep itself hovering in the air not unlike a hummingbird. It buzzes around from one flower to the next with a rapid wing beat of up to 70 beats per second, enabling it to fly up to 12 miles per hour. And just like the bird, it feeds on flowers with its long proboscis. Unlike other moths though, they're known to fly at all times of day and even have eyes that can discern a lot of colors. It has large, menacing eyes to warn predators to back off. They range in length from two to two and a half inches long and are covered in gray hair that sort of looks like feathers with white, brown, or rust markings. Not unlike a hawk, it's a strong flyer and has an impressive range. It can only be found in North America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. Number seven, Angora rabbit. Many people raise these weird rabbits strictly to harvest their wool, seeing how these hippity-hoppity animals are extremely fluffy. The smallest of all the angora rabbits is the English angora, which can weigh nearly eight pounds and produce roughly a pound of raw fiber in a year. But then you have the biggest angora of all, the German angora rabbit. This thing weighs nearly 12 pounds and is so fluffy that it can produce nearly five pounds of wool in a single year. This is not the typical kind of rabbit you see hopping along the side of the road or in a grassy meadow. They can get so heavy with their fur that hopping is basically impossible. The weird thing about angora rabbits is that a lot of them are the product of mixed breeding. This means they would not really survive in the wild and are as unnatural as an animal can get. For example, the giant angora has no way to naturally shed its fur, so it needs to have its wool harvested by a human, much like a sheep. This is not something that would ever occur naturally in the wild. Angora rabbit breeders are currently in the process of officially developing new colors for acceptance at shows. 
Would you like one of these fluffy rabbits? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number six, greater sage grouse. The greater sage grouse is a very unique and odd type of chicken-like bird that can be found in North America. It's unique because of some of the rituals that it's been known to do. For example, in the spring at dawn, the various male greater sage grouses will puff their chests and fan their starburst tails like avant-garde turkeys, all the while making a noise that is extremely unique just to them. Just as odd is their mating methods in terms of who gets to mate at all. You see, the males don't openly try and woo the females outside of certain standard animal practices, but rather the females converge, if you will, to pick the males that they feel are best for breeding. Only then can the males come and mate with them. This may sound typical until you realize that these females can number in the dozens and sometimes only one or two or three males are allowed to mate with the whole flock. In one case, only one male was picked and they went and mated with 37 different females in 37 minutes. This actually makes it all the more of a competition between these males because if you're not absolutely the best, the ladies won't give you a chance. Number five, Emperor Tamarin. Facial hair can be crucial to some humans and apparently some animals too. It can take a long time to grow, and some grow it better than others. When it comes to the monkey species, known as the Emperor Tamarin though, they have a leg up on the competition because they already have a great mustache that they don't need to go and trim down. It's believed that these little monkeys were named after the German Emperor Wilhelm II because of their resemblance to him, which is curious considering that the Emperor Tamarin is found in the Amazon River Basin. They have dark fur on their faces and ears, and their bodies are primarily gray with small amounts of gold, white, and red on their tails. Not unlike many other monkey species, the Emperor Tamarin has a wide array of eating habits. They tend to go for fruits or flowers, but won't hesitate to go to other menus if the need arises. The ones that have been captured by humans are known to be very playful. Number four, Kakapo. The Kakapo is also known as the owl parrot, and it's unique for a few different reasons. Not all birds can fly, and this is one of them. It's flightless. Yes, this is a ground-dwelling parrot that is found in New Zealand. It is the only ground-dwelling parrot in the entire world. The Kakapo looks more like an owl than a parrot, it has a whiskery face that looks as if it's sporting sideburns or mutton chops. They are a mossy greenish yellow, molted color with black and dark brown patches sprinkled in their feathers above, and lots more yellow underneath, and they typically have gray feet. Their mode of defense may not be the most successful, but it works most of the time for them. When a predator notices them, they freeze, absolutely still, and hope and pray really hard they won't get noticed. Courtship is very serious business for kakapos, or at least a loud business. During breeding season, males go up to a popular rock or hilltop in the region, inflate like a balloon, and emit a sonic boom-like noise. This boom announces to all interested females that the males are ready to rumble. After 20 to 30 booms, they make a ching, high-pitched metallic call. This helps the females pinpoint his location. This boom ching pattern can go on for hours every night for two to three months. This is called lek breeding, when males gather to show off and compete for a mate. Some kakapos have been recorded as living for over 100 years, making it one of the longest living birds in the world today. Sadly, there are currently only 211 known adult kakapos, each named and extensively monitored. Number three, Mexican mole lizard. Some of you might know about the species known as the naked mole rat, but have any of you heard of the Mexican mole lizard? Because if not, you're about to get an introduction to this very unusual looking creature. This creature is also known as the five-toed worm lizard, and that is pretty much exactly what it looks like. This species is endemic to the Baja California Peninsula. It is one of four species of amphisbanians that have legs, for those who don't know, the Amphisbanians are known to be legless, so the fact that this is one of the species that decided to break that rule makes it curious right off the bat. The Mexican mole lizard tends to only grow around 9 inches in length, 
and it only lives for about a year or two at most. Not unlike many others in the Amphisbenians line, the Mexican mole lizard prefers to burrow underground and actually uses its front legs like paddles in order to burrow under easier and faster. But it doesn't have hind legs. Those disappeared at some point through its evolution, though you can still see some of the bones of its former legs in x-rays of the creature. Number 2. Patagonian Mara The Patagonian Mara looks an awful lot like a jackrabbit, but it's actually a rodent, believe it or not. The Patagonian Mara is a large, unusual-looking species. It has long, rabbit-like ears and a body resembling that of a really tiny deer. The Mara has long, powerful hind legs, which give it the ability to escape from predators quickly. Maras are able to reach speeds of 27 miles per hour. They can weigh up to 35 pounds and grow to be about 30 inches in length. Their front legs are shorter with four sharp claws that help the species dig burrows. The reason you haven't seen this unusual animal more than likely is because of how it lives slowly in parts of Argentina. While running, maras have been compared to deer and antelope. In terms of mating, that's where things get really interesting, because technically, the mara has two types of breeding. They can do communal breeding, but they're also known to be monogamous, which is pretty rare in the animal world. When two Patagonian maras are paired up, they usually stay together for life and will only replace a partner after death. Furthermore, the males are the ones who take care of them both by always being near the female wherever she goes. How sweet! Number 1. Roseate Spoonbill The flamboyant roseate spoonbill looks like it came straight out of a Dr. Seuss book. The roseate spoonbill might be reminding you of another curious bird, the flamingo, mainly because they're both very pink and yet also white. Flamingos eat certain things that can turn them pink their naturally white feathered birds. These birds have bright pink feathers and red eyes staring out from a partly bald head and a giant spoon-shaped bill. Groups of these birds sweep their spoonbills through shallow waters, snapping up crustaceans and fish. They fly with necks outstretched to go from foraging and nesting areas along the coastal southeastern U.S. and south to South America. They are one of six species of spoonbills and the only one that can be found in America. A lot like humans that are all too familiar with hair loss that comes with aging, the roseate spoonbills are also familiar with balding. They instead lose feathers from the top of their heads as they get older. Thanks for watching. What do you think of these unusual animals? Have you heard of any of them before? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye!